Hey guys, I just wanted to talk about like some things about celebrities and like just the fact that so many people look up to celebrities and stuff like that. I really don't understand why because a lot of these females that you think are females are actually men who have gotten feminization surgery and taken hormones since they were kids and don't even have a human soul because they were born without a soul. You know what I'm saying? Because sometimes these 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 people are not human like or or they took the chip they they worship the baphomet and all that and they basically lose their soul because the soul eventually leaves the body and a demon comes in the great example of this is beyonce beyonce is not human anymore she's not human anymore that i've actually god has actually point blank show me that she is not human anymore i've seen what she really looks like underneath the facade it looks like a man a man spirit demon thing whatever you want to say and i ain't gonna lie it was a little scary to see that like how i'm used to seeing whatever on tv what she looked like she looked like but seeing who she really is will shock you and Oh, like J Lo. J Lo, we already know she she a man. They all a, a lot of them are men. That's they they. That's why they have to fake these pregnancies and stuff. They have to play the part for the Illuminati. Like these people, like their whole life usually is a lie. You can actually look at photos of J Lo as a kid and she's a boy. You know. Like, I just wish, like especially Christians, like if y'all. Y'all shouldn't be following these people at all. Y'all should not be listening to these people like, because they are trash and they're not even human. A lot of them are not human. I repeat, like, I'm, like when I was a kid, I used to feel bad about myself and my body and how I was different. I was tall, I was this, I was that, whatever. Like, But then I realized a lot of the people when I was a kid before I was really awake to, for, to God and stuff like that. Like, I didn't realize that a lot of these people ain't even human and a lot of them are not even women real women most of them are men who have gotten feminization surgery who have been taking hormones since they were very young female hormones since they were very young to to make their voice literally you can't i've seen transvestites who who you can't even tell they were a, a man at one point because of the hormones and has completely changed their voice to a woman's voice however there are some subtle things like if you have a discernment of spirits you will know that that's a man that, that spirit don't change baby you can't change your spirit you you can't you can't even change your your dna your dna will say it all you feel me but you can't go up to um, uh, um you can't go up to these elite freaking Illuminati puppets and be like, hey, give me your DNA so I can see, you know, you can't do all that. <sighs> but like, stop, stop looking up to these people, please. Stop looking up to these people. Most of them ain't even, ain't even females. And a lot of them ain't even human. Some of them probably are Nephilim. You never know. Like, you never know. Some of these people are probably Nephilim. You feel me? Like, some of these, some of them who are human have taken packs with the devil are are selling out their children um sexualizing their children gabrielle gabrielle union over here taking her 11 year old son to a pride parade honey i accidentally went down to new orleans during pride parade and i was so disgusted there was like dinglings everywhere there was dinglings out there was boobies out there was titties out booty out like and you talking about bringing a 11 year old around that around these sexually driven satanic weirdos like it's okay no she ain't a good parent matter of fact she is the damn devil grabby all union and Dwayne wade are just they are satanists okay only satanists do stuff like this they sexualize children they're pedophiles they sleep with animals they do stuff like this all these that's why a lot of these celebrities probably be taking a lot of them you notice will take pictures with animals and shit because i'm sorry sorry my cousin will take animals because they're having sex with these animals. It's, a, it's These are ty different types of rituals that they do, okay? I've seen some of the rituals they do, Andrew, and God has shown me some of the rituals they do with the children. 
specifically Jada and Willow Smith. Uh, what's her name? Willow Smith and Jaden Smith, whatever. They show me what they, how they got initiated and how their parents initiated them through sexual rituals and stuff. Like they was, that's why they be having these mental breakdowns. That's why they don't know who they are. Like they was, they, they've been sexualized since they was a kid. Like they, they, their parents had them just so that they could be used to climb up the ladder in the, in the, in the, um, occult. Seriously. Y'all gotta understand this. This is deep. Like, y'all act like this don't exist. This stuff exists, y'all. Cloning exists. They cloning people out here. They cloning people. They're trying to imitate twins. They be trying to, like, I'm telling you, like, some of these people, these crazy rappers who come out here and who are, who are, what, MK Ultra and all that and brainwashing, they'll come out and be like, I'm a clone. You should believe them. You should probably believe them because it's probably true. Well, I think I think uh, Hillary Clinton, they said it was in two places at one time. And people were like, what the freak? Um, that's because she has a clone. That's why sometimes you look at you can look at some of these um, celebrities and they don't look like they age. Some of them actually do blood sacrifice. Matter of fact, there was a woman in history. I read in a history book who used to who um, she was a queen and uh, she used to take virgins young virgins and sacrifice them and bathe in their blood and the ritual would cause her to look young and i've heard down the grapevine that jennifer actually does this she practices um what is that freaking religion called it's not just she's not she but it's satanic and basically they, they were saying how like People who know her, her family and stuff say that her grandmother uh, basically gets little girls from Mexico, brings her to J-Lo's house, her little mansion, and they sacrifice her, sacrifice them so that they can uh, be beautiful and young. This is this has been a ritual sacrifice for youth for a long time now. This is nothing new. They've been doing this. They are doing this. A lot of them, that ones that look young, don't look like they're aging. This is, they are doing, they are making sacrifices to Satan. And he is granting them the ability to look younger. Okay? Because Satan does have a minute amount of power. He can, he can do things too because he's an angel. Angels have abilities. They were made by God. They are, they are creatures of God with extraordinary power and knowledge that, that surpasses us in the, and on this earth. That's why we, that's why back in the day they used to worship the fallen angels like they were gods and their children like they were gods and called them men of renown because they had abilities that had never been seen before because human beings, we were not made for all that crap. We were just made to love God, worship God, follow his commandments and just, ex and live. And be with God. That's what we was made for. We was made to be loved by God and for us to love him. We were, we are his children. Like, they are not. They are creatures of God. He loves them, of course. Just like he loves all the birds and the animals on the earth. But you got to understand, y'all, like, it is some mess going on here. They is doing some mess, y'all. They into cannibalism. They into all of that i've seen a lot of this stuff in my dreams i didn't understand it when i was a kid i would have dreams like this and i was like i don't understand any of this i never seen it these people sacrifice people like i remember seeing demons like torturing and chopping up little girls as a sacrifice to, to lucifer and and um people were watching and 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 enjoying that and in that dream okay let me just tell y'all this dream okay i never told this dream before this is when i was young i was having dreams like this i didn't understand what i was seeing i didn't understand what i was seeing so in the dream i was with my mother my brother my little brother my little sister my mother and my stepfather and we went into this huge circus tent we go into the circus tent we sit it we sit and there's like a glass window um, and then you see an operating table and then I see this young white girl She's naked and I see like these uh, ghoulish looking people around her with different tools and stuff and um, As I'm walking in there, I see a man sitting on the floor 
um the best way to describe him would be lucifer and the passion of the christ he had like this long black hood on and he was sitting with his legs open he was really pale and very um dreary looking like like and he had like very distinguished features like he was not ugly but he would look weird like i'd never he didn't look human is what i'm saying like he looked weird and when he, and then he turned and he looked at me and his eyes followed me as i sat down and he stared at me and he went to and he kept staring forward at the uh at the, the the scene so as i'm looking and i'm realizing what's going on so they're basically cutting up this girl and drinking her blood and doing all types of stuff to her but i mean by then she was dead within like at least a couple of minutes because they she was just bleeding everywhere and like they were just chopping her up eating her laughing it was disgusting and i was like yo we gotta get out of here i remember telling my mom we gotta get out of here like my mom's like yeah let's get out of here so she grabs my little brother and sister my stepdad wanted to stay he wanted to stay and enjoy this enjoy what was going on he's like it's fake it's fake it's not real i'm like yo this is real y'all so we left and that guy that was sitting on the floor he he starts screaming Marco! like he just starts screaming it and he's like it's so loud as we're running out and like we're running out and like there's and fences blocking us from getting out we're in this truck and it's raining really hard and i get out the truck get out the truck and i and i'm like i'm at this point i'm feeling like i'm not gonna get out we're not gonna get out like they trapped us whatever right and so like i'm on the fence my like this like just on my head on the fence and i look to my right and like jesus appears out of out of thin air but it's weird because like he appeared on the cross like how he looked when he was crucified i can't like his head like he was swollen and beat up and bleeding and and like um just really battered like really bad like he looked really bad and really skinny really skinny and like he had like you know something over his area but like that was it that's all he had on like and like I couldn't tell if the nails were too through his wrist or hands. I don't remember that. I just remember seeing what he looked like and feeling really afraid and like sad. Like what what and I didn't know really what was going on, but he he appeared out of nowhere and like he took his hand and he pointed it to the gate and the gate popped open and we were able to leave. He didn't say anything to me. He just looked at me, took his hand off the cross and pointed to the gate and it opened up and we were allowed to get out but i still heard that man screaming i knew that was lucifer i knew it i knew it like that dream those were the type of dreams i had as a kid like <sighs> and imagine you as a kid you can't i can't go to my mom who doesn't care about me like that and go talk to her about stuff like this she's just gonna be like oh it's just a dream like go to sleep what is wrong with you like she's not gonna listen to me and like the thing is, those that's, that was a ritual that went on in my dream. Though they really do that, they they kill babies. They all these kids missing. You think that's like coincidence? Like, do you understand that? Like, that that the elites make deals with the Nephilim and and extraterrestrials, whatever you want to call them, and and they sacrifice kids kids to them this is a deal that they make that's why there's like literally 1.5 million kids missing something like that something million they said that some ridiculous outrageous number since but i'm talking about numbers from since back in the day till now have been going missing you think it's just because of people no this is because they've been sacrificing these babies I remember I read a story about this little boy they found on the side of the road a long time ago, like in the 1800s. They didn't know what happened to him. He was beat up. They don't know who his parents were, nothing. He was beat up, toe up from the flow up. And like, I believe he was a sacrifice and they just threw his body out there. You know what I'm saying? And that just is a testament. I think he was sexually abused. I'm telling you, like, horrible stuff was done to this little boy. And like, 
they were like baffled. Like they was like, what could, who could have done this? Like, what is going on? Like, I'm like, that was, he was a sacrifice. He was a sacrifice straight up. Like I've, I've read so many stories. Like I read so many stories. Like I know they used to sacrifice slaves and stuff too. Like if you go in New Orleans, that there was a lady you can pat that her mansion, her ma mansion down in the French Quarter, still there. She used to, uh, she used to do satanic shit. Sorry, this stuff makes me mad. She used to do satanic stuff to her slaves, like, cut, like skin them alive, skin their face alive. Like, yo, she did so much craziness that even the white people in that time were like, "You are insane." They literally drove her out of New Orleans because of what they saw they said it was so bad that they literally burnt down the place and drove her out that and these people believed in slavery i know they weren't treating their slaves right but when they saw how horrific and satanic this woman was they literally kicked her out of new orleans ran her off and almost killed her um Nicholas Cage actually tried to buy this mansion, thinking it. He said it was saying it was cool and it was in its history. I'm like, yo, this is a satanic. He couldn't even. And that's the funny part. As soon as he bought this cursed area, because a lot of people from New Orleans don't even walk underneath this building because the place is so cursed and and, and so sat and so uh filled with sa satanic rituals and stuff that she did. For years she was doing this. I know she was sacrificing slaves. They said it was finding bodies in the walls. They was finding like tort, like this member slave. I'm telling you, like it was so bad. I really wish I knew the name of this place. I'm from Louisiana, so like everybody knows about this place. And a lot of people don't even walk under there. Like one day me and my friends was walking at night in the French Quarter. We was going to find something to eat, whatever. Because, like, I don't know. We was young and stupid, whatever. We wanted something to eat. And a lot of restaurants stay open. We passed by this place. And we and we was like, oh, I was like, one girl didn't know. We was like, yo, we, we don't walk underneath there. We don't walk underneath there. One girl said she walked underneath there and a demon was following her for days. So, like, I'm telling you, like, these satanic people been around for a long time. They've been around for a long time. She was rich. She was rich as life. Everybody adored her. She used to sacrifice these slaves and stuff for riches, for um, notoriety in the community and stuff. And she was for a long time of high esteem until until like uh, I think her place caught on fire and it revealed like her satanic area, what she would do to the slaves, the bodies and the smell and like everybody was horrified because a lot of them didn't know about stuff like that they just they was just like in awe of like all of that and it was like oh you crazy crazy so again like these rituals have been going on for so long you guys gotta realize like open your eyes see what's going on you know take care of your babies like like I live in Puerto Rico and people be trying to come up to my daughter, touch my daughter. Heck no, you're not touching her. I don't know where your hands been. I don't know what curses of voodoo you might try to put on my child. Like you have to be like that. Like you gotta be like that with your children. Like I remember this one dude trying to say, that's the culture. I don't care. We're living in the end of days. You ain't just gonna walk up to my daughter and touch my daughter. You gonna go through me to get to my daughter. You gonna go through me. And they got offended when I said that. I'm like, I don't know who you people think you are, but y'all better you you better know who I am. Like, I had this one dude give her something. He gave her something without even asking me. I'm telling you, like, I don't care how freaking a culture is. You got to protect your children because they out here sacrificing children. They out here raping children. They out here doing all types of stuff to them. You got to protect your child and you got to teach them that this world is not safe. You can't just go up to a stranger and just be lovey dovey with them. Like you can't be like that anymore. People are not, people are crazy that you never know who's around you. I went to a church once and there were so many Masons and, and Eastern stars. I was like, this is freaking crazy. This is a church. And these people are Masonic in a Masonic lodge and stuff. 
my father, supposed father, he thinks that we're not his children, but supposed father is actually a mason and high up at that, enough to be able to get him a job anywhere in a, in a different country. So I know what I'm talking about, dude. My mother probably was one of the, was probably at one point Eastern star because she's dumb. Like she'll fall for anything. She thinks everything is just, it's, it's just, it's just a club. It's just, that's how she talks. It's just a club. All right. All right. You keep thinking, you keep serving two masters. You either love or hate one. You can't serve God and be in a Masonic lodge. You can't because they're eventually the higher you get the more rich rituals you will have to do, the more you will have to do. And it be and they start in the beginning, they make it seem like it's all good, but the higher you go, the more you will have to do. The more, like I know my father's doing something. He's doing, supposed father, he is doing something. He is doing something that enough to be, be, to be able to travel abroad like nothing, have all this money. Like my parents got money. I mean, they don't, they don't give me no money, but my mama got money. My father has money. And I think personally, they both are associated with, my dad specifically is associated and is a, is a indoctrined Mason. I didn't know this till I got older. I was going through his Facebook and I started looking at the rings he was wearing. Okay. I started looking at this Masonic cake he got for his birthday and his wife was like, happy birthday to your brotherhood. And I just started doing my research on him. And I remember talking to him and I was like, how did you get a job out there? Weren't you like, he literally was kicked out of Japan. How did you get a job in Japan? He was like, I know people like, and then he was like, oh, it's God. I'm like, First is people, now is God. No, what happened is you talked to your people upstairs and they got you there. They got you there because you was doing something. Like, maybe it's a good thing he wasn't in my life, whatever. But I just know that he ain't that good of a person. Like, he's not that good of a person. Um, My mother is not good of a person. Like, she's nice and all, like... Um, externally like she's very soft-spoken nice woman but in reality there's something wrong with her like there's something wrong with both my parents y'all i come from a very corrupted family there's uh there's a lot of there was some pedophilia that went on in my family there was some there's a, a lot of stuff that has gone down in my family that nobody talks about um it's crazy it's freaking crazy like, like i don't know all my family i do know i do know i have looked up a little bit more into my family my mother's side because i just feel like there's a lot of weird stuff going on in my family like i do know i looked up like i came from the line of a feemster family they're actually like my family got started from a guy from this feemster guy he's a white guy um and uh I didn't know that. I didn't know that we have a heavily like mix with white, like white people. Like we have a whole entire white side of the family. Like our family got started from a white guy. You know what I'm saying? And the, it's just how we started looking more black. <laughs> it was we started mixing with black people. <laughs> so you know, um, we were we would be considered Creoles. Um, a lot of a lot of mixed race people in my family a lot of my mother is mixed race like she's i don't know it's crazy it's a lot of mixing going on in my family you know what i'm saying like i didn't have to I, like when i when we have babies our babies look all types of different um but it doesn't really matter it's just i know that he probably i feel like he was the reason why I brought that up is because I feel like there might have been something going on. Like, I feel like possibly my family might come from a line of, like, some pe so, some of the people in my family might have been in the occult. I'm not sure. I've been doing my research, but I'm not sure fully what they were involved in. I think Mr. Feemster might have been a slave master. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what he did, but I'm going to, I've been finding out a lot about my family and some things have come to light. I don't like <laughs> that's why I separated myself people were like 
You can't just put, yes, you can. Yes, you can. I had a bro, I had a freaking uncle who used to say stuff to me like, let me whisper sweet things in your ear. Who says that to a child? And he used to try to touch me like, yo, like, so like, so what? Because I'm just supposed to be okay and be around that, huh? I'm just supposed to be okay with that? Like, people are freaking crazy. Like, dude, if your family is causing you heartache, if your family is causing you problems, like, and another thing, his daughter, like, I'm going to tell you this, like, this, stuff like this be going down because I really do feel like some of my family members are in, are in with these elites. I really do. Because, like, for example, like, all of them got money. They all got money. Sometimes, some way, somehow, some, I mean, they have education and stuff like that, but they all got money. They all experienced some type of traumatic thing in their life concerning pedophilia, seriously. And like, it's just crazy. Like, it, it's just crazy. Like, I can't put all my family on blast, but I can say this. Like, I've experienced things from family members, like them making me, when I was a child, touch them in inappropriate places. Um children like their children speaking very sexually like telling me things i had never heard before in my life not understanding as a child what any of that meant because they were older than me but i can tell you this like there's just been some curses some there's just been some demonic things going on in my family that people don't want to talk about that i do i do feel like uh my mother how she climbed her way to the top and the when she was in the military was i think she was definitely an eastern star or something um elite affiliated i think my father definitely is affiliated with that and like that's how i know some of this stuff i ain't gonna lie that's how i know some of this stuff that's how i can just call out this stuff like and i'm completely against it i really am that's why i cut my family off y'all wanna y'all wanna tell me i'm wrong i cut them off because they are not real Christians, okay? They say they're Christian, but really there's some things deeper than that going on. And y'all need to understand that. That's why I cut my family off, if you want me to be frank. Like, some of y'all just don't understand stuff like this. Y'all don't experience it, so y'all don't know. And like, for me, I've always been a person who held on to God, and my family just hated me. They just hated me. They always had something negative to say about me, whether it be how I looked, whether it be everything that I did was scrutinized. Nobody came to do anything for me. I've been beat down like I'm a grown man and I was only a child, little four-year-old, five-year-old, six-year-old. And you trying to tell me I need to be around people like that who don't respect me to this day, who still try to treat me that way? I don't think so. Like, I know what I, 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 my family is corrupted. There is something wrong with these people. Like, there is something wrong with them. And like, I can't have my daughter around stuff like that. I don't want them around anything is satanic. I am, they don't say, a lot of them don't serve God. A lot of them sleep around with married people. They have no morals. Like, a lot, some of them have, a lot of them, a lot of them have babies outside of marriage. My, my mother, however, like, I'm not trying to put her on blast, but like, you know what I'm saying? She act perfect, but she's not. My family act perfect, but there's some serious problems going on. Some deep, serious problems going on. Things that I probably don't even know that have been going on. I'm telling you. I'm sorry I'm talking so much. This is probably the longest video I've done in a while, but I just wanted to to talk about this and also I, I feel like I can't talk about it because it's in my family like I know like we have famous people that are related to us so it's in my family and I don't talk about it because it's just yeah. ugh, it's just disgusting um all right you guys have a great day bye y'all I wanted to add one more thing that I that I also like that I noticed like so when I was a kid, my mom used to dress me up as a boy. I promise you, she used to dress me up as a boy. Like, all, I don't like looking at any of my pictures when I was a kid. Because I she used to dress me up and make me look like a boy. She didn't buy me no feminine clothes. She gave me the excuse that nothing fits you because you're overweight. I'm like, but she couldn't find me nothing that didn't look like a boy's clothes. 
And I noticed that this is what led me to believe that my mom might have been associated with these, um, with uh, a lot of these um, elitists and stuff like that. One, she had a lot of money. She got, she got a lot of money out of nowhere. She was poor, and then she just started making all this freaking money and picking up rank like nobody's business. I was like, what is going on? And, like, she always used to dress me like a boy. Always. Like do my hair not feminine at all i would try to wear my hair like a girl wear it down my hair was a long really curly and long as a child and my mom never let me wear it down she would give me like these boyish looking braids um and boy, i would get picked on constantly called a boy and stuff and why do i dress like that i'm like these are the clothes my mom get me and um i noticed that a lot of women who are in illuminati tend to do that to their children so like that's another reason that y'all don't know like what why i just don't really mess with my mom like that like i feel like my like as a kid i questioned who i was because i was confused like everybody kept telling me i look like a boy you're a boy or ask me if i'm a boy or a girl and like i'd be like i'm a girl like and then i would ask my mom to buy me more girly clothes and she would still buy me like boy clothes like like i can't find any picture but one picture where i actually look like a girl and then like when i got older and started rebelling against her and not uh, and and becoming my own person and following god and stuff i started trying to look girly and 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 just like trying to like like step away from all of that you know what i'm saying step away from all the extra craziness that was going on and like that's another reason why like i just question my mom like i i i question her character like i don't like looking at pictures when i was younger at all because i look like a boy i was dressed like a boy my hair it was made to look like a boy <laughs> Like, I would ask my mom, you know, like, because my eyebrows were getting full and stuff, you know, can I shave my, cut my eyebrows down? Like, I'm starting, or like, <laughs> like, I used to get, like, peach fuzz, because I was, I was just a hairy kid for a little bit there, like, during my hormone, for when I started going through puberty, whatever. But, like, I, she'd be like, no, no. I'm like, but people are calling me a boy. Like, and, like, no matter what I said, she really did not care. She wanted me to, in my opinion, I feel like she wanted me to look as boyish as possible. And like, it really messed with my psyche when she, and then I, I and then I started seeing a psychologist when I was a kid and stuff, cause I felt really broken. And then it was, I was just dealing with a lot. I was dealing with a lot. And then I was bullied by my stepfather's pa uh, family. I was bullied by him. It's just like, I just felt like I was just picked on throughout my whole, my life. My whole, my family just picked on me so bad and treated me so bad. Like, I can't, <laughs> y'all like, I just don't understand. Y'all just don't understand how hard it's been for me growing up and stuff like that. And how I try to have a relationship with my family and they treat me like, garbage they treat me like i'm different like i and the thing is like i believe in god i believe in jesus christ i i used to i used to read the bible all the time you know but like i just don't know like i was picked on so even in church like my mom would take me to this freaking to this church and this these people were so mean to me like i remember like i got made fun of at bible study because i couldn't read very good um, I was a slow reader and I, and I was embarrassed and she knew that I couldn't read slow, but she, so she made me read the Bible in front of everybody and mess up and everybody was laughing at me and stuff. And I just dealt with so much, like so much, like I dealt with a lot of stuff. You guys like just don't understand, like. Y'all don't even know the half of it. But yeah, that's another reason how I knew I found out like my mom kind of might have been associated with those types of people, which is explains a lot of her 
ways of how she tried to, I feel, indoctrinate me. Seriously. Um, I was on, I got put on hormones for like the longest time. Like, I, I, my mom put me on hormones and those hormones mess with the chemistry of my body really badly to the point where I started gaining a lot of weight and stuff. However, I didn't look like a boy or anything. Like I, um, because I had really pretty long hair. I was, um, I had, I have a pretty decent looking face. However, I took hormone, my mom put me on hormones and stuff and I started look, um, she said, it was because my um you had asthma and stuff and your insides weren't developed. How were they not developed when you put me on hormones when I was at 11? And you kept me on hormones for so long that it had adverse effects on my body. It was just, I was in and out the hospital all the time, like getting injections and do, and just a lot of stuff was going down that I just didn't understand until now, like. I remember they were testing my blood and for something like they were like testing me for giantism, but like giantism is and just testing me for weird things I had never heard of before. Like, I mean, I'm talking, they would take four tubes of blood every hour and they were, they wouldn't explain. My mom couldn't really explain to me why they were taking my blood constantly. They were constantly like poking and pricking at me and like for years i was in and out the hospital i was um and to this day she can't explain to me none of it oh yeah it was just um yeah uh, just weird stuff like dressing me up as a boy these weird experimental things in the hospitals like i don't know i don't know I really, I was actually taken from her in the hospital and I stayed in the hospital when I was born for months and then they gave me back to my mother and then like she said I had grown, she said I started exponentially growing. They said that when they did bone ages on me and I was growing exponentially fast and then they started giving me injections as a kid to make me stop growing and to make me not go through puberty until they wanted me to go through puberty. So basically all these things, all these things that they were doing to my body caused me to have issues um, like going into um, puberty at s five or six. Like whatever they were doing to me was causing me to go into puberty super early. Like really, really early. Like, I mean, five and six. So they gave me injections to stop me from going through puberty. Then they put me on hormones, different hormones and stuff. And they started doing all types of, sh they started doing all types of stuff. I had to get all types of, I constantly got, I, I had this, like this phobia of needles. Cause I just had to deal with that all the time. And then, I, and then after when I got older and was able to make my own decisions, all that stopped. All that was like. She started making me go to a psychologist, but she would sit in the room with me while and while I was talking to the psychologist to make sure I didn't say anything that would um, get her in trouble. And if I said the wrong thing, I would get in trouble. And just great, y'all, <laughs> craziness, y'all. Like y'all just don't understand. Y'all don't understand, bro. Y'all just don't freaking understand. It's like kids that are being indoctrinated are treated like crap. And that's the things I don't talk about. But I'm going to tell y'all now. I'm about to tell y'all now. Because, like, I'm sick of people telling me, you can't just cut your family off. You can't even. Y'all don't know the half of it. Y'all do not know the freaking half of it. Like, I don't know her half of it. And then that's some and that's something that my twin brother never had to deal with cuz she favoritized him over me. And she wanted to like basically indoctrinate me or something. And uh Yeah, I'm not going to get too deep into it, but not now y'all know. Now y'all know. God bless.